Hello, it's Super Dante Gamer here, and a welcome back to some more of the Minecraft of the story mode. And where we left off again, we're still in the murdered house. In that's where we left left off. I think last time, the Captain Sparkles is now dead. I think we remember that. We're trying to blame the finger on someone. People saying it's Lucas, but I don't think it. It's definitely not Lucas. I have a feeling it's the red-haired one. I can't remember her name, but that's the only person I haven't seen when the white pumpkin is around. Oh, hello. Are we still? Are oh, we chasing after the? Right. Let's just do this before we talk anymore. Soul sand. Let's go and spam that. See, there's Lucas without the bat wine pumpkin. Guys, bitch. <laughs> there, Jesse, I'll cut him off. Ah! Uh, Lucas? Give me a moment. I'm trying to figure this one out myself. What happened, Lucas? I thought you were chasing the white pumpkin. Uh, yeah, I was. And I almost had him until you, you know, he took me by surprise and stuck this pumpkin on my head. Well, what's going on in here? No! Huh? You called the white pumpkin! Grubbin, quick! On it! Get out of our way, Jesse. Yeah, it's all out in the open now. You can't defend your friend anymore. Come on, you guys, think about it. Lucas would have never had the time. That's not exactly much assurance. You two have been constantly running around this mansion with no one watching you. Yeah, for all we know, maybe you're his little accomplice or something. It's a fact, Jesse. These horrible things only started happening when your group arrived. And now, Lizzie is gone too. I say we throw him outside and let nature take its course. What? Out, outside, outside? Where all the googlies are? No, you can't do that. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I still have my suspicions about Lucas, but Jesse did save me. I don't feel right about chucking your friend to the zombies. <laughs> Brave stats. Oh man, I'm so glad you said that. We really are just here to help. Fine. <sighs> Thank you. Don't go celebrating yet. We've still got to do something with you so you're not roaming around freely. What? Like, lock me up in a closet or something? There was a closet in the main hall with a lovely metal door. Seems like a perfect place to lock someone up. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I was mostly joking. Okay, fair. But I'm keeping guard because I still don't trust him. Is that cool with everyone? That's not happening unless one of us goes along too. It's fine, Jesse. I'm glad you're here. Awesome. Come on, Cassie. See, I'm, I have a, I have a feeling that it's Cassie. It's the only person I haven't seen when the wine pumpkin is around, and she is always. But it could be anyone. Seriously, it could just be a randomer. What are we supposed to do now? We need to figure out how we're going to clear Lucas's name. The white pumpkin must have a, I don't know, a, a lair or a base of operations or something in this house. We need to find it. Sounds like a plan to me. So yeah, this is where we left off. So my pumpkin has escaped again. Somehow he got away from Lucas. 
Now let's talk to Stampy and Dan. Dan, I know that you're innocent. But you're still a suspect, Stampy Cat. I've got some questions. Seriously? Where were you when the chase with the white pumpkin was going on? I... I don't want to say. Ah, oh, come on, Stampy. You're just making yourself look more guilty. Where were you? Fine. I was sitting in a corner, humming to myself. It calmed me down. Uh-huh. Okay, I'll leave you guys to it. Uh -huh. Sounds good. Right, yeah. Let's talk to Stacy. What do you want? You've been pretty aggro on accusing Lucas. Seems a little suspicious. Not nearly as suspicious as Lucas. Where were you when I was chasing the white pumpkin? Making cookies. I get a sweet tooth when I'm nervous. Don't go anywhere, Stacy. <sighs> sure. Right. Still questioning people. Right. How are things with you? Petra. Oh, you know, just peachy. Stuck in a house with a masked killer. One of my best friends is the current top suspect. It was really nice of Ivor to step up like that, though. Didn't think he had it in him. Yep, Ivor's awesome. I'm glad he's on our side. Me too. Okay, well, I vote we get back to it. Don't want to leave poor Lucas in that closet for too long. Yeah, agrees with that. So, of course, the wine pumpkin has probably gone through one of these paintings, and I have a feeling that it's going to be this one. Secret passage. See, told you. <laughs> I didn't even play this, but. Well, this looks promising. I wonder what order these need to be in. Um. Okay, that seems like a step in the right direction. Okay. So then, the sand must be going in the middle because Captain and Sparkles died from the died from the sand, right? And someone died from the spiders, so the sand must go in the middle. There we go. Awesome. Oh wow! You got it open. Yeah, you guys should stay here. Could be dangerous. No, I totally want to follow you into your friend's creepy secret passageway. Ugh, seriously? You really think Lucas did it? You haven't it? proven that he didn't yet. Technically true. Hey, come on, cool it. We're all in this together, aren't we? Depends. Figured you'd be on your little buddy's side. Ugh, you know what? They're not worth it. Come on. Yeah, but we're now leaving them free to do whatever they want. Down to whatever the white pumpkin calls home. I wonder how he gets down there. Maybe in addition to walking through walls, he can fly for all we know. Ugh! Okay, Petra, calm down. I'm really worried about Lucas. Those people think they're all safe, but the white pumpkin is still running around, and he could strike again at any minute. Not to mention, all those people back there have been so ungrateful, so petty. Petra, don't worry. We're gonna stop the white pumpkin way before he can hurt anyone else. Well, hopefully. Fine. You're right. I know you're right. <sighs> She's all a little bit frustrated. No, we don't know who it is, and we don't. We need to unmask him. We're gonna get through this. Let's start by figuring out how we're gonna get down there, huh? You know the drill. What have you got in your inventory? Didn't you have all those wood blocks? Sorry, I was whittling earlier. Nervous habit. Well, luckily those should do just the trick. And here's a ladder. You thinking ladder? Yeah. Gonna need a lot of them. I'll race you. <laughs> You're on. Right. 
Ladder. If I remember correctly, it's that. Gun. Don't. Oh man. <laughs> Thanks. I needed that. All right, we got a lot more of these to make. Let's get to work. That's one down. Lots more to go. Definitely a lot more to go. Into the creepy mark. Pull we go. See? Told you we'd make it. Yeah. I just hope this works. Think we're gonna find a white pumpkin down here? these secret passageways? I'll be honest, I hope we do. And this time he's not walking away with just a scar on his mask. Brutal. I like it. Hey, do you hear lots and lots of zombies? Yeah, I do. I'm starting to smell them too. Ugh, ditto. Gross. Zombie noises. <laughs> okay, that did that made me jump a little bit. <laughs> and that. Right. So walk away from the zombies. No, I'd rather not look at the zombies spawn. Okay. What's this? This is where people's stuff goes after those hoppers upstairs suck it up. You're right. I think that's Lizzie's. Okay, but where's the loot going from here? Hopefully right to the white pumpkin. Hmm. You see the light coming out of that tunnel too, right? Huh? Oh, yeah. And it doesn't look like it's blocked off like all the, uh zombies built once. If we get up there, I think we might be able to follow the loot to wherever it's going. Well, that's awesome. Nice find. How do you want to get up there? Grab some dirt, Petro. We're going climbing. Okay. I think we can jump from here. Come on, Petra. Come on. You're not dying on me yet. Uh, that was almost embarrassing. Thanks, Jesse. No problem. Weird. That almost sounds like... Cats? Mannequin. It's just some sort of growing station. Weird. The white pumpkin must have heard us. It's Stampy, though. Even I can tell. What? Stampy cat? Boy, you gave me a fright. What are you doing down here? What are we doing down here? Yes, it looks terribly suspicious, you know. We're trying to find the white pumpkin. Oh, well, I'm glad you haven't run into him yet. Come on, you guys. I can't be the white pumpkin. I'm Stampy Cat. I'm no murderer. Huh? I needed to find you because I have something important to tell you. I have something to confess. Something I haven't told anyone. Where is this going? Come on, out with it, man. I stole it from Dan. It was just supposed to be a joke, a harmless prank, but then, well, you'll see what happens. Wow, beautiful. I knew people wanted it, but I had no idea that, that this would happen. Well, why didn't you tell anyone? I was 
scared, okay? People started... So he's got green inside his tail? We've got blue? The different colours? I may be a thief, but I'm no killer! But that white pumpkin is, and he's killing people for it! And now, we're down in his lair! I was thinking, maybe I should just give it to the white pumpkin. What? Just, maybe that would make it all stop, right? Maybe? No, Stampy. You should hang on to it. Yeah. Who knows what'll happen if it changes hands again? I suppose you're right. Let's just give it to me. Right. Mine, I will survive. Door if I ever saw one. Well, lever, here we go. This in my top ten places I've ever been. Well, there's where the meowing's coming from. Don't worry, we'll get out of here as soon as we find something that proves the white pumpkin's identity. Uh. All right. Well, that's the hole that we came from. Petra, did you see this? That's the portal hall. Yeah, it looks like the white pumpkin's been there too. Yep, definitely. Oh no. We got like sparkles. It's collected. <sighs> Those poor people. Hmm. So there's the lake. Let's talk to these two. You guys doing okay? I'll be honest with you. I'm pretty worried about Lucas. If the white pumpkin isn't down here, he must still be upstairs. And I thought that I was okay because I was numb and feeling no emotions at all. But I'm beginning to suspect it was actually shot. Don't worry, we're gonna crack this wide open. Oh, let's hope so. So I'm guessing this chest should have oh yep, we've got sticks. Anything else? Pearls. Sweet, that must be how the white pumpkin got down that elevator shaft. Ah, uh, yep, yeah, of course. And then potion stand. Brewing stand must be where the white pumpkin made the tipped arrows that killed Torque Dog. Didn't Lizzie say that she taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those too? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she did. Hmm. On the chest. That chest definitely seems important. Okay, kitty kitty, can you scoot out of the way, please? I need to get in the chest. Ah! No, bad kitty. Oh, stupid cat. I need something to distract him if I'm gonna get that chest open. Hmm, yeah. Should be able to get some string from those cobwebs. It'll go perfectly with those sticks I found. We harvest them? Or cut them? Okay. Uh, fish? Oh, we could go fishing, maybe. Fishing for the cat. I just thought that. Well, there is a lake over here. So we can definitely hopefully get one. Ha! Wow, nice catch, Jesse. Thanks. <laughs> wish wish catching fish on your microphone's that easy. So just waiting. On hours on end. Use fish. Okay, here, kitty, get the fishy. There you go. Jeez. Oh, many cats, so many cats. Oh, cats give me the creeps. No offense. None taken. I'm 
Not waving at cats. They can finally get in here now. Full of portraits. Loads of them. Oh, I don't like that. Jesse already had all the X'd out ones ready to go. Yep, besides Petra, we've got Dan, Stacy, Stampy, Lucas, Ivor, and oh hey, there's me. But what does it all mean? The cats, the crossed out portraits? Yeah, the portraits. There was one person who didn't have a crossed out portrait. Someone who's a known cat person. Okay. So yeah, come on, it has to be her. The white pumpkin is Cassie Rose. She's the murderer. Man, you're totally right. I don't believe it. Uh, not only is she the white pumpkin, but she owns way, way too many cats. Well, come on, you guys. It's time to prove Lucas's innocence and catch us a white pumpkin. I mean, the clues all add up. I'll go round everyone up. What's going on? Yeah, you were gone an awful long time. What's going on here? Did you even find anything? I have the evidence I need to prove that Lucas is innocent. Oh, really? Yeah, you don't say. No sign of Cassie, but... Huh? Are you going to tell them, or should I just do it? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Jesse, go on. Is this going where I think this is going? Go on, Cassie, tell them. Tell us what, Cass? It sounds like Jesse's trying to make you think that I'm the white pumpkin. <laughs> That's impossible. No way. No way. Yeah, Jesse, I'm afraid you're going to have to do better than that. Look at the facts. We caught Lucas with that pumpkin head right after poor Lizzie got taken out. I think you're just lying to protect him. Cassie's making a lot of sense right now. Do you have any evidence to back you up? There's something that's been bothering me for a while now. Something that happened in the Great Hall shortly after Torque Dog was hit with that trap. What's that? Go on, Jesse. You've got this. Where is this going? Shh. Let Jesse finish. Cassie Rose was already in the room. No one else there. And Torque Dog's picture was somehow crossed that, out. That doesn't prove anything. Lucas is still way guiltier looking. Well, what about what came next? When we were down in the basement, we found some very interesting items. Items for the White Pumpkin's evening festivities. And there was one very significant detail. What was this evidence? Shh. I think Jesse's about to tell everyone. We found a Primo Potion Brewing Station. Perfect for making the tipped arrows that killed Torque Dog in the first place. Oh, that's pretty good evidence, but, uh... Honestly, that seems more like a Lizzie clue than anything. Yeah, and she's gone. Hmm, that made more sense in my head. But that's okay. Stick with me, people. Okay, I think they're on the fence, but you can do this. Bring it home, okay? But it was the last piece of evidence, dear friends, that helped me really figure out who we were dealing with here. Cats. Dozens of calico cats. And they all look just like Lucas. An amusing story, Jesse. But if you saw all these supposed cats just like mine, then what color is Winslow? It shouldn't be a problem if you saw a hundred. Cats? Really? Shh. Winslow is black, white, and orange. Cassie, is this all true? This whole thing has been about your crazy scheme to get a portal key, hasn't it? Killing whoever gets in your way. How very clever, Jesse. Well, I guess that's it then. You caught me. I am the murderer. I just don't believe this. I know. I was shocked too. I'm relieved. But also surprised. What would any of us ever do to you? Directly? Nothing. But you idiots had the one thing that I most desperately feared. I've been stuck in this stupid world with its stupid two moons for years! Trapped with a portal right under my nose, but no key to open it. What is? 
Until I finally heard that this world's portal key had been found. I knew it was one of you. So I tried my best to earn your friendship. Figure out who had it. Cassie, how could you? We shared cookies together. Cookies! You really think that's an excuse? You're pathetic, Cassie. It doesn't excuse all the horrible things you've done. Spoken just like a person who has no idea what it feels like to be stuck somewhere you don't belong. We need to do something with you, Cassie Rose. I vote we build an obsidian prison and surround it with love. No, 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 no. I won't let you do that. I can't. No! This is your fault! You did this to me! Stop! I'll fight all of you! Each and every one of you! Oh. Another trap! We need to dig her out! After everyone she's hurt, she can dig herself out. She did terrible things, but no one deserves this! Come on. I can't believe it. She's gone. What a way to go. Yeah, I guess in all the chaos, she forgot where her own traps were. Wow. Wow. The trap were taken out by one of her own traps. That's ironic. If only she had just asked us for help, we could have avoided this whole thing. Hey, it's morning. I guess, I guess that's it then. Yeah, we're free! And we're alive! It's not wasted standing around. There could still be traps everywhere in here! Hmm. I had a feeling that was there in the end. I mean, I basically glued it all together. Eventually. Oh, I've never been so happy to smell Rami. Yikes, that is pretty rank. I feel bad thinking about the people who aren't here to smell it. Talk Dog, Sparkles, Lizzie, and Cassie, I guess. Uh, that's a good point. Yeah, I didn't mean to depress anyone. I just can't stop thinking about them. I tried my hardest, but there was nothing I could do. Oh, we all know that, Jesse. It's not your fault. Lucky for us, that portal brought you here. Speaking of which... I have no idea how to begin finding our exit portal. Well, Cassie said it was right under her nose, right? That's true. Maybe it's nearby. Well, might look like that. What do you know? There it is. A fabulous coincidence! So, I guess this is goodbye, huh? Yeah. Just let us know if you ever accidentally find yourselves in our world. That's really nice of you, but I don't think we can really portal hop without a portal key. Oh, uh, well, I think Stampy's got you covered there. You stole the portal key from me? It was just meant to be a prank, a harmless prank, and I'm so sorry, so very, very sorry. Yeah, come on, it's Stampy. You know he would never actually try to hurt anyone. Hey, it's cool, guys, you can share it. It makes, like, your own order of the stone. Yeah, all right. I guess I can live with that. Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. Well, I'm not great at goodbye, so I'm actually just going to start walking home. Thanks for everything. Yeah, me too. Travel safe, you guys. Bye! What a strange, strange bunch of individuals. I totally agree, Ivor. What's her name was talking about being trapped here from another world. What if she was one of the old builders? Portal keys, other worlds. All adds up, I guess. Man, that's too bad if it's true, seeing as she turned out to be, you know, the white pumpkin and all. Yes. Hadn't thought about that. I just can't believe that we finally met someone who might be an old builder, and she's a pumpkin wearing serial killer. Oh, she was a pumpkin wearing serial killer. Right, let's go. Huh? That's weird. 
Winslow? That's strange. I thought... Okay, that was definitely a trap. I can't see a thing. Well, that's ominous. Do you hear that? Endermites! And there it is, Jesse! You're trapped! Stuck! <laughs> Just like I've been in this rotten world. Come on, Cassie. Just let us go, and we can go our separate ways. After everything you've done to me? No. I don't know how much time you've spent with Endermites, but the poor things are eternally hungry. I would throw the flint and steel up here before I drop you down to find out how sharp their teeth are. Oh, guys, I dropped the flint and steel when we fell. I have no idea where it went. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, Jesse. What's it gonna be? The flint and steel? Or your lives? Just give me the flint and steel and I'll let you go free. I don't believe her. Okay, you're right, you win. We'll give you the flint and steel, but let us out first. <laughs> no, I'm not falling for that one. Nope, this is taking too long. I'll just let the Endermites eat you and fish it out of your inventory. It'll be the best fishing trip ever. <gasps> Winds for my pet. Activate the trap. Want something done right, Yagen? Prepare for your death. <laughs> Guys! Jesse! Come on, Winslow. Stupid door? Oh, it's no use! Without a lever or button, we'll never get these iron doors open. Just hold on, guys. I'm gonna get up to the control panel. Alright, oh, we got Oh, that is disorienting. Oh, the fuck? Uh, just started going faster. She booby trapped her booby traps? That is so paranoid. What? You thought you could do it just like that? Trying to get leverage? Give me that key, Jesse. Nope. Guys, no, no! Hey, Jesse! Guys, holy crap, you're all alive, thank goodness. Yeah, for now. Don't worry, I found a lever. Throw it down. Okay, get ready. Yeah. Got it. Okay, you guys get to safety. I need to find that flint and steel. You're not a fast learner, are you? Jesse. The key. You didn't have it either. Oh no, it's mine. Nope. No. No. <laughs> no, we are going home. Winslow, what the hell are you doing? No, no, Winslow! Don't touch that! No, 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 Winslow! Bad kitty, stop it! Winslow! Good boy, sweet kitty! Bring that to master! Here, kitty, kitty! Here, kitty, kitty! This is like... Give that back, Cassie. No, I'm afraid not. Time to 
pretty intense boss battle this. You are incredibly tenacious! <laughs> That's never act, Jesse. It stays on fire forever! Well, Winslow, that's the last of the obstacles. We're finally going home. <laughs> Come on, Winslow. Winslow, Winslow, come on. Down with the love. You know I love you, but you look very tired sometimes. Hey, cats suck. What did you say? You heard me. Cats suck. Pigs are way cooler. Damn right, breaks a girl. But I'm bored with it. What's going? Ah, I got it. Excellent. I did it. You're all dying now. Uh, no, thank you. Got it. No! Out of yourself. Look at me, stuck again, out of Ender Pearls. And that's where she wanted us to end up. Trapped in my own trap. <laughs> of course, of course. Well, at least you're still alive. That's more than Torque Dog or Captain Sparkles or Lizzie can say. You're right. Of course, you're right. Wait. At least don't leave me here all alone. Give me my cat. My dear sweet Winslow, he's my best, my only friend. Please. Winslow? Winslow! Where are you, my darling? Come to Master, please! I have a fish! Come get the fishy! Winslow? Winslow! Oh, the cat dying. A real portal hidden down here all this time. Unless this one is a trap too. I don't know if even she'd be that paranoid. Only one way to find out. Right. Step number two of the portal. Good side so far. Yeah. No trick floors or arrows or anything. Okay, sure. But who's going first? We're a team. We all go together. This time it's green. Green pole. Ready? One, two, two three. three. Adventure! Definitely adventure. Adventures, adventures, adventures. Ooh, next time on Minecraft Story Mode. Alright, what's going on dude? It's me, Captain Sparkles, next time on Minecraft Story Mode. After defeating the dreaded White Pumpkin, will Jesse and the others find their way back to the portal hallway? And will it lead them home? Or instead, are they destined for more perilous adventures? Well, I guess I'll never know because I got pounded into the ground by a ton of sand. I guess you saw that, right? I'm in the middle of an amazing speech and boom, I've suddenly become part of the floor. I mean, dude, you saw that, right? How much worse can it get? First, they choose not to invite me on their adventure, and the next thing I know, I'm part of the floor. Anyway, one thing's for certain. Even without me, this is going to be an amazing adventure. Hmm, definitely will, Mr. Sparkles. Oh, all my achievements. As if loads of people, loads of people gave her the cat. Okay, maybe I'm a bad person. Okay, maybe I, maybe I'm bad. I feel bad now. Right. Well, that's because I'm just gonna skip all that. And. We will 
start episode 7 in the next episode. So I would like to say thank you for watching. You can like and favorite this video as well. You can subscribe. You can also like and follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are below. You can also follow me on Google Plus, Twitch and Instagram. And that was a really intense boss battle. But time is running short and I'm running out of time. So thanks for watching. I've been Super Battle Gamer. It's been the Minecraft of story mode. I don't know why I'm calling it that. It's just Minecraft story mode. But there you go. And finally.